Hi, I'm Rick Crane from Angler's Artistry, and today we're going to show you how to paint the striped bass. Take your time when you're scale tipping. Work at a pace that works best for you. I think the best advice that I could give you when it comes to painting scales like this is just paint them one at a time. I know that sounds fairly obvious, but the honest to goodness truth is painting it one at a time. Just like being in practice with all the scales that you did on the side of the body, this is really no different. You're just using a different color and you're going over a different uh, canvas color, but the same techniques. You want to make sure that you're leaving the pockets visual, meaning that the, the edge of the scale is still visual. such as right up in this corner, we can add a little bit of this color. Okay, same thing along the edge of this orbital plate. Yeah, we can come down into this fold area. We can add this color into the fold. We can actually use a little bit bigger of a brush for this. Now when we come to the break, in the lateral line here, there's no point. You don't have to. There's no rule that says that you have to connect the line or go through it. It's just, it's just nature being perfectly imperfect. Outside edge, I'm going to bring this right in over the top, just about halfway down. And then from there, we're just going to paint some fingers. But just, just on the long side, fading down just about two-thirds of the way through the bed. Gloss is propelled by air. And if you want to have a really nice wet look to your surface, we have to purge that air out of there. 